Hi guys, Lily Nova here. I've been getting a lot of really great questions emailed to me and through messaging, especially since doing the Jeff Mara podcast, which I will link in the description if you haven't seen that. And for anybody new who is a new subscriber who came from that channel, welcome. Thank you. It's awesome. I've been loving listening to your stories and uh, answering your questions. But I got a really good question that I wanted to share with you guys. I figured other people might be interested in this and be wondering the same thing. So I'm going to answer a question that I got through email. Can I ask you if you believe in heaven? And if so, do you believe it is another dimension along the lines of those you have connected with? Or do you believe God is separate in the creator of it all? So this is a great question. And I believe that heaven is something that can be reached within us. I believe that heaven is actually more of a state of being. That being said, during meditations and through visions, I have experienced and seen these higher dimensions and higher dimensional beings that I believe are, they're closer to source. They embody more of that source light and they feel like pure love. So I believe that heaven exists in higher dimensions, but is also something that we can obtain here on earth by going within and raising our consciousness. So I was not a religious person when the UFOs began coming to me. I actually had some bones to pick with religion. I didn't like the separation and the corruption and all of the death that has come from religion, which I know that was not the intended purpose, but it's been twisted by power-hungry people. So religion was kind of a weird topic for me before that. But when the UFOs began coming to me, I was quite surprised to find that it actually took me down a spiritual path. I had no idea that aliens and extraterrestrials were going to take me down a spiritual path. And a lot of these beings are just very enlightened, advanced beings. So the cosmic beings that began reaching out to me and that I began connecting with and developing this teacher-student type of relationship with, one of the first things that they taught me was that we are all one. We are all connected. We all come from the same source. So I am I am you, you are me, essentially. We are all a piece of the creator. And we are source or God experiencing reality from the perspective of a human being in a physical body on a 3D reality. So essentially, everything and everyone is God or source. There can't be anything else. As more people awaken to this and awaken to their spirituality and the divinity within them and raise their vibration, we will be raising from a 3D, a dense reality into a 5D or fifth dimensional reality. And as we do this, separation will, will not be a thing. There will be unity and love and light and miracles will just be a daily thing. The love and light of the 5D encompasses everything and it is very beautiful. So it's a state of being and it's somewhere we are all headed through this right now. It is said that this process, this awakening will bring heaven on earth. During my meditations, I have also seen Jesus and angels and archangels, which really surprised me at first um, because like I said, I was not a religious person. I didn't even know if Jesus was real. I didn't know if angels were real. I didn't even know about archangels at the time. And then they began appearing to me and it it just really blew my mind, honestly. Um, you know, it started off with UFOs and connecting with star beings, and then suddenly I've got Jesus visiting me and I'm seeing angels. Um, so it was really trippy. And I could also go off on another tangent talking about how some of the figures in the Bible were actually extraterrestrial or these higher dimensional beings, especially the Pleiadians, who can appear as very illuminated, um, glowing beings. But besides that, when Jesus came to visit me, he told me that the coming of Christ was actually the awakening of Christ consciousness, 
within all of us. So it's not going to be like Jesus just comes down and is like, okay, I'm back, I'm alive again. It's something deeper than that, and it's something that isn't external. It's not going to be an external thing that happens. It's going to happen through and within all of us, obtaining this Christ consciousness as we raise our vibration and our consciousness and become aware of who we truly are. So that is how Christ will be coming back, how the Bible prophesized it. It will be within all of us. Christ consciousness exists within all of us. Same with Buddha, enlightenment. It is all very fascinating, enlightening, and exciting. We are living in a very exciting time on the planet right now. There's a lot of eyes watching us. There's a lot of help out there guiding us. We are going through a huge transformation from 3D to this 5D reality, which will essentially bring us heaven on earth and heaven within us. If you like this type of casual Q&A type video, let me know in the comments. If you have a question that you would like me to answer through a video, I'm gonna put my link tree in the description and you can click the contact me button near the bottom or shoot me an email asking your question. If you'd like me to state your name in the video, you can say from Pat or Roy, or if you want to remain anonymous, that's fine too. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you guys and be here learning together and coming together. Unity is going to be very, very important. Uh, star seeds and just as human beings, we need to learn how to come together, support each other, learn from each other because we each have a piece to this puzzle and we each have something to contribute. So yeah, love you guys. It was awesome and see you next time.